I've already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with, how you see them. Then we'll talk about why it's happening. Just remember the roles can be switched. They could be you and you could be them. So Taurus, for the present time, coming up in June, Five of Wands and the Four of Cups. So what I'm picking up is that there's some romantic rivals in this connection, or there could be some type of struggle for dominance. Yeah, it looks like um, possibly you or your person, they've invited other people into this connection and it's causing a battle so let's talk about the five of wands now this is referring to competition it could be work career but since this is a love reading it could be romantic rivals don't be afraid of competing just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful but you have to try to see results your need to believe in yourself is stronger. It's stronger than ever now. So hold your head up high and have faith that you'll end up in you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You may be thinking of a career change. Just know you can be successful at that too. So basically, five of wands, it's clarified with the four of cups. Now, as you can see, this man, it looks like he's at a park, he's on the grass. You can't see his hand, I'm sure, but there's a lot of red blood all over his hand. And he's just sitting there and he's stuck. He won't eat, he won't get up to help himself, to fix his hand, to take care of himself. He's just stuck in his head. It's like he's paralyzed. So this Four of Cups, it's about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So try to make sure you're counting your blessings and not to spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it has to do with where we put our focus. So you might want to try to put your focus on things, people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So basically, coming up in June, like I said, I'm, I'm showing that some people. There's a lot of people, maybe. Maybe family members. Maybe, um... Maybe you or your person is being pursued by several people with this Five of Wands. And it's causing challenges, obstacles in this connections. And it makes you and your person not see eye to eye. So there's a struggle for dominance. And then there's regret. If it's your family trying to get into this connection and cause problems... Uh, you could re you could be regretting that you told your family and your friends about your relationship. A lot of times that causes a problem too. And you have to fight all these people off. And it's probably sometimes your fault because you told them too much. You invited them into your world with you and your person. So now they're trying to cause problems and you have to fight them off. Or, like I said, your person... They could be pursued by several people. Other people are trying to get in, into this mix and it's causing a battle. Challenges, obstacles. So there's some regret here. So you could be feeling like um, you're wishing things were different. But we'll clarify these two cards more once we take a look at the rest of the reading. Now, the person you're dealing with, they see you like the high priestess. They also see you like the nine of wands. The high priestess, 
it's a spiritual card. It could have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, femininity and inspiration. So this is a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important that you pay attention to your dreams now. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a good idea. So they see you, the person they see you as very attractive, mystical, magical. Now they also see you like a nine of wands. Nine of wands, it's showing anxiety. Yeah, being worried being keyed up over concerns but the first and the best step is to often take a deep breath and calm down don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you take it one day at a time one hour at a time if you can do so because at least some of the worries they'll likely turn out to be imaginary and I say this because this man he's surrounded himself with all these wands and he's got one wand in his hand and he's about the battle someone but there's really no one around so get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart ask yourself what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening comfort yourself and if you need help don't hesitate to ask for it asking for help is the mark of a strong person so the person may see you like this nine of wands also very stressed out worried they see you have a lot of anxiety. You could be, they could feel like you're closing yourself off. You're guarding yourself against them or some situation that's involving this connection. But there's attraction there with the high priestess. There's a lot of attraction. Yeah. A lot of attraction. The High Priestess, it's a card about sitting pretty. The High Priestess pulls back their energy, their wise, their teachers. They can be the quiet types, but very attractive. So there's a lot of attraction here. But you're closing yourself off. And you're experiencing some anxiety and worry and that's how they see you now let's take a look at how you see them you see them like the star card and the two of wands now the star card it's about feeling inspired and more hopeful about the future than you have in a while you could um, also find that you're confident you're confident that your needs, they're being met. It could be financial needs or both. Financial, emotional. Um, they'll be met with the star card. Nothing can be taken for granted, but it's, not, it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. It's unlikely. Your confidence is at a peak. And this can be a spiritual card also. You could find that you're feeling at one with all of creation it's not a common feeling so make sure you savor it so this is how you see your person um, you see them as rejuvenated yeah you see them as very being very hopeful about you very hopeful about this connection they got a lot of faith uh, there's inner clarity any grief of the past is released with a star card. So if they were in hurt or pain about something that happened between you of them, between you of them in the past, it's released. They're rejuvenated. That's how you see them. You also see them like the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is about balance in every way. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right and getting enough rest. It indicates a partnership with one other person. It could be business or personal or both. 
It reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if you start to feel out of balance, just know that they're about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize. So when you see them like the two of wands, this person may could want a future with you or they could have two paths towards a future. So maybe two options. Yeah. So they could be planning to make this connection more equal. This card can go a few ways. But um, because it's with the star card, I'm picking up that this person, um, you see them as wanting to have a future with you. Yeah, because it's with the star card. And you see them being very hopeful, having a lot of faith about this connection. This person wants a, you see them wanting a future with you. Now let's take a look at why it's happening. It's happening because of Ace of Pentacles and Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles is beautiful. I don't know if you can see this card, but this it looks like it probably rained for about three days or maybe two days in the forest, in the woods. And there's a pinnacle just sitting there. And it's, it looks like it's brand new. And it probably wasn't before, it probably was not before the rain. But it's, it's shining really nice right now. And like I said, it looks like the rain cleansed the earth, cleansed the trees, the plants, the flowers. And there's a squirrel there. I don't know if you can see him. Well, it looks like he just popped his, his, um, his self out from hiding from all the rain. And he's amazed at how everything is new. It's a new day for this squirrel because everything is clean and fresh again. Yeah, it's a fresh start. That's what this Ace of Pentacles is. So you could be finding that you're enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these are very positive new beginnings. You'll be feeling optimistic, upbeat, and really hopeful about your future. Things should be going well, and you could be starting something new very soon. This could be work, or it could be personally. If you're in a committed relationship, it rise to new and better heights. The two of you will reconnect. And this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Now, it's also with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups, it reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you might find yourself asking, what will you decide to focus on or what will you focus on because the implication it can be extremely clear you might ask are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things what I'm trying to say is that it's about watching where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good because with the Five of Cups, there's some disappointment. There's loss, regret, grief, feelings of abandonment. But then it's with the Ace of Pentacles. So this um, connection is trying to become new again. Trying to get a new start again. Or there's, there's new beginnings waiting to happen. But it can't happen if you're holding on to past baggage or just having disappointment. You're holding on to, you're crying over spilt milk, put it that way. But new beginnings are trying to happen. So let's recap this reading right quick so that we can get the complete picture. So basically, Taurus, coming up, we talked about the present time. There's some romantic rivals or people just trying to get into this mix with, with, with you and your person and it's causing it's causing a struggle 
Yeah, and it, it causes um, you and your person not to see eye to eye. It, it makes this connection a challenge, and it brings about obstacles. So there's regret here with the Four of Cups. You or your person has a lot of regrets. Like I said, you, you can't even get up and take care of your hand. You're just stuck in your head. A lot of regrets. It could be because your person or you um, um, invited other people into this mix. There were romantic rivals causing competition. Could be something like that because it's with the Five of Wands. But your person, they see you as um, there's a lot of attraction here. You for them or they for you. Uh, they find you beautiful. You find them handsome. It can go either way. With high priestess, a lot of deep attraction. Um, but they see you stressed out. You have a lot of anxiety and stress and worry. And you, they see you as wanting to close yourself off. Yeah, you could be just tired of the, the, um, the competition that the, that your person is bringing, because all the other other people trying to get into this mix, so it's making you, yeah, stressed out, stuck in your head. And you feel like you want to close yourself off. You don't. You don't feel like fighting. You just want a normal relationship, a normal, healthy relationship. Now you see them as being rejuvenated and really hopeful about this connection. Yeah, they could possibly want a future with you, with the Two of Wands. But they see you closing yourself off. You're tired of the competition. Yeah, this connection is. Is um, it suffered some disappointment? Yeah, someone needs to focus on the um, the good things and stop focusing on the bad things. That's what it's saying with the Five of Cups, and it's saying that because there's a new beginning. There's a there's brand new beginnings just waiting to happen. The new beginnings could be in this connection with your person. It or it could go either way. New beginnings outside of this connection. Now, why it's happening, it could mean a few different things. It could mean that you got new beginnings. It could mean that you might decide to focus on the negative things and you take your new beginnings somewhere else. Or you could get on with things, focus on what's good, what's working in this connection, and um, reconnect with your person. So it could go a few ways for why you know why it's happening. But there's some beautiful, beautiful new beginnings. A new day is waiting to happen. Either way it goes, if you decide to stay with your person, which I'm picking up that you will. Because it doesn't, there's nothing really serious or really hard in this connection except for some worry and stress and you're closing yourself off. And like I said, it's probably, it is, I'm just picking up it's because you've invited other people, people that don't belong in this connection and they're causing problems. So there's regret because because this has happened but you see a person wanting um, to rejuvenate this connection and they want a future with you yeah they want this new beginning with you so um, and um, they see you as beautiful and you see them as beautiful there's attraction here but you want to close yourself off you just don't want the competition yeah, so maybe you could redo this connection and start fresh and just leave all the other people out. Just make it about you and your person. Yeah. So competition can be a problem, especially if you let the wrong people in. It can cause, it can cause a whole lot of problems. 
struggle for dominance. It can cause a big challenge between you and your person. Obstacles. Rivalry. And then it can make you and your person not see eye to eye. And it also causes stress. And it looks like that's what, um, that's how they see you dealing with this. So Taurus, good luck with the new beginnings. I don't think you'll need it because that Ace of Pentacles is it's a beautiful card in the tarot. So I hope this resonates, but as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I've also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Taurus, happy holidays. Happy Memorial Day. I hope you had a great one. Uh, I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you join me for the next Taurus reading, which is in about another four or five days. If this didn't resonate with you, maybe the next reading will. So I hope you have a great day. I hope June is a beautiful month for you. And I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope to see you at the next reading.